Football season is here. In today's video, we're going to learn how to connect to ESPN's football power index for NFL or college football using Excel with no code. Hello, everyone. Jonathan with Excel Bets, and we have football season starting off. College football started off over the weekend, and NFL week one is starting off in a couple days. And with that, I've walked through a couple of videos of how to use the football power index on ESPN to build betting models. And with that, I showed how you would copy and paste in the data. Well, today's video is going to use Power Query. So if you have Excel and want to walk through just a couple steps, you can create a Power Query connection. No VBA or code needed. Just a couple of, a couple of simple steps that I'll walk through. And you can be able to connect and have this data update automatically with just a simple click of a button within Excel. So hopefully that gets you excited. And with that, let's flip over to Excel and see how to do it. So here's a model I have built, and I do have a link in the description, both NFL and college football versions of this, where we're going to pull in the FPI, the offensive defense rating to build a complete betting model off of it. And here's the FPI tab I have. You can see it's just a simple data table. Let's just delete some lines, go up here to data. We'll do a refresh. And you can see that it's going to pull in from ESPN.com the latest data values. Now it does take a couple seconds to refresh, but if you don't want to have to do a copy paste and you want to just have it be completely dynamic, you can see now it's populated with the latest FPI data. We can flip back to ESPN just to make sure that all looks good. Green Bay Packers 2.6 with a 10 rank. Green Bay Packers 2.6 with a 10 rank because I know we cleared out that data. So that's, that's what we're going to be working towards. I'm going to pull up a blank Excel workbook here and I'm going to show you what just a copy paste looks like right now. So I just highlighted everything on the NFL football power index and this is what it looks like which is kind of ugly. It's going to stack your your teams on top of the actual data table and it's going to bring in all the icons and my other video I showed if you do control G it'll bring up the go to special you can click objects click OK and remove that. And you can insert a, a dummy column here and reference the teams. And you can do that and then do your VLOOKUPs off that. And you just have to copy and paste in that data each time you want to refresh the model, which as you can see, was pretty quick and that works. But if you want to have this be a completely dynamic update and just a click of a refresh button, then what we're going to do is connect via Power Query. So I'm just going to add a new tab. I'm going to go back to ESPN. And I'm just going to copy in the web address up here. Control C, so ESPN slash NFL slash FPI. Copy that. We're going to go to data from web. And it's going to bring up a URL. From web paste, we paste in our ESPN, click OK. And it's going to bring up some prompts, and we'll just walk through just some specific steps to get that data in as we want it. This is going to bring up this navigator icon, and it's going to let you see the table preview. So again, as we saw in the copy-paste, it bifurcates the teams from the actual FPI data, which is not what we want. So make sure you select multiple items and we're going to select table one and table two because we need the teams for table one and we need the FPI data from table two. So select both those. We've got the check marks and then head down here and click load. And it's going to load both those tables. Okay. So now it's loaded those. And this does take a couple of seconds just to run these queries. Um, but once you get it established and do the refresh, it's only a couple of second delay. And if you don't want to go through the copy paste mechanism, I think this is a great solution. And I will have models link in the description for NFL and college football that have all these connections built for you. All right, so we've got our two tables loaded here. Let's just double click this table one. It's going to bring up our power query editor. So table one just has the team name. And like I said, table two does not have the team name. So in order to join these, we've got to have a common field to join on. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to add column and then this index column. And you can do from zero and it's going to add a zero 
to 33 row column. We'll do the same for table two. Because that's the great thing about this is it's the same number of rows. And so we can just add this kind of dummy column, this indexing, and we can join off that. All right, so we've done that for both table one and table two. Then we're going to go home and then we're going to go to merge queries and then do the drop down, do merge queries as new. So table one, and like I said, we need to be able to have a, a join field. And so that's going to be that index column. And then we're going to select table two. Scroll to the right, select your index, and it's going to be a left outer join. Click OK. And then make sure you click this expand button so we can have all the data here and it's going to expand. And we want all the columns. We probably don't need that index because it's going to be repeated from what we already have in table one. Click OK. So there we have it. We have our table one, which is the teams and then the that index column the win-loss, the FPI, the rank, the trend, offense, defense, special teams, strength of schedule, remaining strength of schedule, and average win percent. So there it is. We have everything we want. Go ahead and click this close and load. Let it just take a couple seconds here to load. Like I said, it does take a little bit of time to get it initially established. But once you've got that up and running, it is pretty slick. Okay, it's getting the data. You can see down here, it's running the background query. And there we go. And so let's just delete some, some data here just to make sure it's connected. And then to refresh this, and this will work for every time you want to refresh it, let's go to the data tab and click refresh. And it's going to repopulate that data we just cleared out along with updating any of the FPI information as it changes. So uh, really slick, um, as you can see, pretty simple, just a couple steps, no code. Um, so as long as you have just some basic sale knowledge or just follow this you know, to the detail, you'll be able to have your FPI data brought in and you can see we are off and running. So hopefully you found this helpful. Um, best of luck with your, your sports betting for football season. Um, I know I'm excited for college football and NFL season to be officially kicked off. Um, please consider liking and subscribing. I'll continue to put out content that's just specific to sports betting, utilizing Excel and be able to find some, some great values and setting up some great models. So um, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you for watching and God bless.